Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that help provide context for today's public affairs issues. One can hardly walk through a street in France, certainly one cannot live there, without partaking of that national institution, the Sidewalk Cafe. After a day's work, soldiers may relax at a table, often with their wives, perhaps a date for the single men, and just watch the French world go by. By some strange coincidence that has something to do with money, payday is often the occasion when men begin to most enjoy off-duty time. First of all, they will usually explore points of interest near their duty stations. Places like a castle in Verdun, built in 1370, a castle on which the American Corps of Engineers modeled its famous insignia, worn proudly by so many American troops. Off-duty time may be spent in Orléans, a colorful city drenched in the stirring legend of Joan of Arc, the maid of Orléans. The city is dotted with tributes to her memory. Go to Orléans on Joan of Arc Day. It's a kind of Mardi Gras and the 4th of July rolled into one. Off-duty Americans are in the crowd watching a festive parade, including a modern Joan of Arc. There's a French band as brassy as one of our own, beating it out for the marching men of France. And now into the square comes an American unit, one very much on duty, here in a tribute to a great ally and a great day. All are silent as the Marseillaise rings forth throughout Orléans. And then, into the heart of town, yes, and into the hearts of Frenchmen who lie in the streets, march the men of Calm Z, paying their respects to the memory of Joan of Arc. The parade is over, but the festivities continue on throughout the city. An off-duty soldier may very well run into a street carnival. He feels right at home, the same music, the same kind of kids having a great time, the same atmosphere of fun and frolic, and they even have many of the same kind of rides as the carnivals back home. So why not go all out in one of the midget hot rides? And there are always Boku souvenirs to send home to mother and dad. But when it comes to a furlough, a stretch of time off time, the soldier in France will always head for Paris. There's no end of sights to see left bank or right bank. The soldier in France will do the town from top to bottom and no better place to start than the top of the Eiffel Tower. Luckily for him, he won't have to climb. There's an elevator on hand to speed him upward. Going up and as the elevator rises in the sky, you get a view through the framework of one of the world's most beautiful cities. The view stays with you on the way down, and it will stay in your memory a long, long time. Nearby, another sight familiar throughout the world and the Calm Z soldier on furlough wouldn't dream of passing it by. The Arch of Triumph, a monument to victory, a memorial to the men who died in its quest. His leave over back to duty. Whatever his rank, from general to private, the soldier in France is not only assuring a line of communication to our troops, he is working side by side with his French ally. He is friendly with the French, and the French are amis to him. For the men of Z realize that this part of their job, working with the French, is an extremely important one.
Toward that end, on commemorative occasions throughout the year, just as much a part of things as the speeches and the parade of troops moving down past the reviewing stands are the frequent exhibitions of American Army equipment and techniques, and French citizens are cordially invited. A model of a bridge, especially when a youngster walks carefully, very carefully across it, may seem a long way from ComZ's basic business. But it is all part of the all-out effort to maintain close, friendly, sympathetic relations with French people who are not only interested in our techniques, but in our welfare as well. So that is why on many an American holiday, you will see Americans march proudly down the streets of a French town. And you will see French people, young and old, watching with respect and a sense of pride. 